Hello everyone, it is October 9th, uh, 2013. Uh, it is a Thursday, and this is a quick video to demonstrate how I play a newsletter alert. If you've been to my website, you'll, you'll know that uh, I subscribe to multiple newsletters, and you know it does not matter which newsletter uh, provides the alert. I, I always play them the same way. And I'm going to break this uh, down into three parts. Uh, first is the entry, second is the stop, and third is the expectation. And that is, for example, uh, how much I expect it to move intraday, maybe if it's going to be a multi-day runner, how I would sell into strength, etc. The example I'll be using is MM, which was alerted on October 7th. And the entry price, uh, the alert price for it was 704, about right here, somewhere. Now the earliest you could have gotten in, um, because because once it, once I saw the alert, I you know put it into my montage, and the earliest that I could have gotten in was 7:14. Now this would have been a dime above the alert price, and so I decided to to pass on it because a dime is it's a little bit too much for me. I mean these things could run 30 to 40 cents intraday after the alert. That's true, but again it's. Uh, you know, a dime up is just too much for me, and you know, it's it is subjective, so it is what it is. Um, after it was alerted at 7:04, it ran up all the way to 7:30. So, assuming I did get in at 7:14 or 7:15, I could have had a 15%. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, 15 cent profit. So that's what I would have done in regards to entry, as far as deciding whether or not I want to buy it. Now, MM, looking at it on level two. Let me see if I can drag the window over here real quick. It's not, you know, it's not super thick and it's not super thin. So on a stock like this, with you know, you know, it's liquid, um, I'd probably probably take five thousand shares. At most, maybe ten thousand, maybe fifteen thousand, if I'm feeling a bit more risky. So that's uh, that would be my position size uh, for the entry. So now part two is is a stop. Now my theory, my thinking is, okay, if an alert, if 400 to 500 people, assuming there aren't that many who buy into this thing, if if their push cannot sustain the pattern, then there is no reason for me to stay in this thing. For example, uh, using MM once more, after the, the run up, it came back to 718. And then it it made a new high of day. Make sure 731, 7, yep, it, only a penny though. And then it came back down to 718 once more. And then what did it do? It made another new high of day, but only a one cent increase. And then it pretty much tanked after that. And this is uh, the following day, the 8th. It just tanked after that. Of course, this was the day that uh, the president spoke. So markets were just, you know, markets were down the entire day. So it. You know, but re regardless of external factors, still, you know, once it broke 718, or even the entry price of 704, of uh, you know, the alerts, uh, the alerted price, I'd exit this thing. Or, or if I were to have gotten in at 715, I would have stopped out at you know, mental stop of 698. Because once seven is broken, you know, you're just going to go downhill from there. So that's that's how I would play the stop. Um, if you wanted to, based on your entry and assuming that you haven't chased a, a, a boatload, you could place a stop, say, six to seven cents below your entry. So had I made an entry at 715, I would have stopped at 709. But just a quick note, um, because this thing ran, it pulled back, and it went up a little bit more, I would have had my stop at a mental stop at 717, because it, you know, 718 was support here. It found it as support again, but then here it broke. So you know, 716, you know, kind of a no-brainer here. And so part three um, is the expectation, selling into strength, for example. Looking, I always look at the daily chart first to determine what I'm going to do with this thing, assuming it's not going to break break down on me. Looking at the daily chart, uh, I can see that on the day uh, the president spoke and this thing dived, which was October 8th. It went. It had a range of about 78 cents, but prior to that, it would be about 30 cents, 30, 50, uh, 25-ish, 30, 30. So you know, when it when it when the 
the average um, range isn't that volatile, you know, intraday. My expectations for something like this not not too high to begin with. So if it were me playing MM um, after seeing this daily, I'd probably sell you know half uh, a dime up and then another half um, 15. Oh, I'm sorry. The original would be plus 10 from entry. Uh, and then the next one would be plus 15 from entry and then plus 20 so five cent increments because I'm always trying to catch the top intraday and had I played it like that oops sorry had I played it like that uh, as I just mentioned moments ago which would be an entry of 715 let me see on this on the seventh so an entry of 715 my first sell would have happened at 725 followed by 730 and then I pretty much would have just stopped out on the rest. So that is expectations. Uh, if anything is unclear, because I'm sort of recording this on the fly and you know it's not really scripted or anything, I didn't plan anything, I just felt like doing it, um, please send me an email or leave a message and I'll clarify. In the future, hopefully I'll be using more uh, videos as an example. I may use the CRRS trade that netted me nearly $8,000 because I I scaled out in and out maybe at least uh, a dozen times per day for the two days that I was in the, in it. You can check the website, go to trade reviews, and you will see an annotated uh, image of day one and day two of that trade. Thank you very much.